Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster, and this is my review of the Star Wars The Black series Mag Magistrate Grief Karga. I do apologize if I pronounce that wrong, but it's the brand new Season 2 Grief Karga from The Mandalorian. This figure is part of Black Series Wave 34, which is a wave that's not supposed to be out until 2023, and I actually do have all of the figures and a ton of reviews are already up on the channel, so if you do want to check those out, they will be pinned in the card or linked in the description, or they'll just be up on my channel, so make sure to go check them out, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the Black Series content on the channel. And if you are new, we are actually doing a giveaway. Once we hit 8,500 subs, we'll be giving away this clone Captain Rex figure. You do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter, so make sure you go down, hit that like button, and subscribe. And then once we actually hit 8,500 subs, I'll release a giveaway video. All you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter. Anyway, taking a look at this figure... He is part of the Mandalorian line, so of course he does have that burnt orange packaging. Looking nice though. Flipping it around to the side here, we again just really awesome artwork. I the the Black Series has really been killing it with the artwork lately, cause uh, this grief cargo looks incredible. Flipping it around to the back, we actually do have a bio. You can pause and read it if you would like. But this one is number 24 in the Mandalorian line, and we do have that nice image of Grief Karga there as well. So besides that, there's not a whole lot going on. So let's go ahead, get this figure open, and see what he looks like. Alrighty, so we do have Grief Karga out of the box, and he is about what I expected. Uh, he's very traffic coney is uh, the word I would describe him and that's just because he does have this huge cloak on that is all hard plastic which just makes it really hard to pose him in any you know dynamic poses so of course we will go over articulation to uh, show that off but yeah it, it's just it's kind of a shame um, he just he just feels really stiff and uh, like I said traffic coney is the way I would put it but uh, he looks great, and that's one thing I do love about the hard plastic, is that you get all that wrinkly detail in there, and you get to put a lot of, like I said, those details that you couldn't really get in a soft, uh, like, cloth robe or something like that. So, you know, they do have their plus and minuses, but, um, I think, uh, we'll have to try to decide if this is for the better or for the worse in this video. Anyway, let's go ahead, get him off of his spinny stand, and take a closer look. So yeah, taking a little bit of a closer look at this figure, I do have to say one thing I love about the uh, hard plastic is that you get all these nice textures and uh, little bits like that in the mold, and I think that came out great. Even some of like the details here and the wrinkles. That's one thing that I think are great about like the hard plastic cloaks. Uh, biggest problem is that it's, again, it's a hard plastic cloak, so... Uh, you can only kind of get him standing up like this, even even if you want him in some kind of like lunging pose. Say I put him like in a pose like this. That that cloak just kind of kind of doesn't set the best, you know. Obviously, you can make it work and make it look good, but it doesn't really flow with the figure. It's kind of molded to be in that standing upright pose, which I mean is is fine because I don't think Grief Karga needs to be in a ton of dynamic poses. But, um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, taking a look at articulation, he does get, it looks like right at about 90 degrees at the arm, which is nice. He also does have a, uh, looks like a vertical hinge on this wrist and a horizontal, no, two vertical hinges. That's awesome, yeah. Uh, two vertical hinges, which is great. Um, I do know his original figure was a dual-wheeled pistol character, so it is nice to see that they brought back the hor or the vertical hinges. Ton of articulation in the neck. He does have a ball joint at the top of the neck and then also at the bottom of the neck, so ton of articulation there. His arms can almost go all the way up. I believe they would if it wasn't for this cloak here, but yeah, this cloak kind of pushes down and you know gets in the way. His arms can go all the way around. Like I said, that does kind of get in the way of the cloak, though. He also does have some some hip and like ab articulation, but not a ton. His leg can kick out about that far. This overlay here starts to get in the way, and kicking back probably can't get very far with this big cloak here. Then anyway, looking at his knee, he can get. 
about 90 degrees at the knee, which is great. He also does have rockers at the ankles as long with pivots. So overall, great articulation, and I do love the pinless look. I also do want to take a close look at his face here. Taking a close look at the face here, this is a brand new face sculpt for Grave Karga, and I think this one looks a lot better than the Season 1 version. Season 1 version just didn't look a lot like uh, Carl Weathers, and this one actually does, so I love how this one came out. And uh, yeah, it, it just looks great, and I think this is a big improvement over the Season 1 version. Next up, looking at the blaster, he does come with this one blaster pistol. I believe this is a brand new sculpt, but correct me if I am wrong. And this one actually does fit into his holster. Kind of hard to get to his holster, you kind of just have to lift uh, this here, uh, like, cloak up, and then kind of put it in. But it just went flying. But yeah, it does uh, fit right into the holster, which is great. I do love uh, weapon storage. So yeah, pretty cool. Now comparing these two figures, the Season 2 version on the left to the Season 1 version on the right, they are actually very similar. It does look like the arms are reused from both figures. So that is interesting. And so are the legs, it looks like, as well, if I can kind of move this out of the way. But the, yeah, the legs are reused on both figures too. So uh, right now it does look like the shirt is brand new, which is pretty cool. And then uh, this nice like inner overlay with the uh, kind of like shirt here and then the uh, drapes that go up there. That is all new, which is great. And then of course this big chunky robe is also brand new. So uh, yeah, nice to see some brand new molding, but um, it's honestly, it's not that bad to see the reuse either because it works, it's great articulation. And like I said, it works for the scene, so I'm not too upset about the reuse. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Anyway, next up for comparisons, we do have Mando on the left, and of course Baby Yoda on the right. Looking great together. I know both of these characters played a huge part in Mando Season 2, and so it's nice to see them together. Next up, we do have uh, Throne Room Boba Fett on the left and Finn Shand on the right, who both made appearances in Mando Season 2. Looking great here next to Grief Karga. I'm trying to remember if they ever met each other in the show, but I want to say that they did, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's been probably a few... It's been a, probably at least a year since I've watched Mando Season 2, so I definitely need to go back and rewatch it. But yeah, these figures do look great next to each other. And then next up, we do have the Night Owl trio next to Grief Karga. Looking really, really good. Um, again, I'm going to go with the... I don't know if these guys ever met. I definitely have to go back and rewatch the show. But they look great next to each other. But I want to say that they did because I remember Grief Karga in the finale of season two. But I could be wrong. Yeah, like I said, I need to go. I just need to go and rewatch it. Anyway, next up here we do have Credit Collection, uh, Cara Dune on the left, and Moff Gideon on the right. Also, just looking great together. So yeah, next up we do have season one Migs on the left and season two Migs on the right. Looking pretty good. Overall, I do actually really like this figure, and I think it's going to look great with the rest of my Mando Season 2 figures. But I also think he's one of those figures, if you have Season 1 Grief Karga, it's not necessarily required to upgrade. He's not that much better than Season 1. And so, it's just one of those, which one do you prefer more? I do love the updated uh, face sculpt for Car Weathers. It looks great. And then I also just love the more colorful design. It's like a red and gold uh, color, and I really love how his color scheme turned out. Whereas in the season one, it's just kind of like like dark brown and beige colors, and it's just it's not super noticeable. It kind of just blends into the background, and so I do like his color scheme on this newer version better. And so yeah, it's one of those things. If you have the original version, it's not like required to upgrade, but it is uh, pretty nice if you did want to. So overall, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It's not the best figure in the line, but it's a pretty solid choice. I do think that this would have been a much better figure with maybe a soft goods robe. If it had a soft goods robe, I think this would be a just outstandingly amazing figure. But I do think that hard plastic traffic cone really hinders a lot of uh, the posing and articulation that this figure does have. But overall, I do think it's pretty good. And if you do find it in stores, I would suggest trying to pick it up because it is a pretty cool figure. And other than that, uh, that's probably going to do it for the video. So if you guys enjoyed the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.